Hey there guys, this is Piper here and welcome to another Rome Total War battle. So this is the the second battle in the con aspect of round one of the Great Games between the Greek side that consisted of Greek Demedus, Greek Cleomedus and Greek Heraclus. And they're playing against a side called the Punk Kiddos, which is Hoss Saint, Hoss Zeke and Hoss Tara. So this was the, the fourth battle in total. The score was actually 2-1 to the Greek side. This is the second con battle and this is actually Scythia versus Pontus. Scythia being played by Demedus and Pontus played by Zeke. So because this is con rules, Scythia has 15.5k Pontus has 13.5k and limited to 4 side chariots. We'll check out the armies fast. Scythia has gone for 6 chosen archers. Gold attack. 2 regular archer warband. They are 5 attack. 1 is 5, 1 is go gold. 6 maidens. They are gold gold also. Yep, they go gold. Two Scythian horse archers, the standard horse archers. Their gold attack, two dogs and one peasant. One of the rules in the Great Games is you can't use a faction more than once in the same round. So Scythia's not been used at all by the Greek side. So it means they've used it in this battle, they can't use it again in the CWB battles which will take place after this. Check out Zeke's army fast, obviously he's Pontus, he's gone for two chariot archers. They are both gold attack. Four side chariots, obviously no upgrades. Two Pontic light cavalry, they are five upgrades. Six archers, go gold. gold and five pike they are two upgrades one peasant he's opted to make his pike a little bit less than usual he can actually afford the upgrades he's kept his archers on gold gold because he knows that scythia is very skirmish based faction so we'll probably take a lot of damage on the archers obviously having six chosen they're far better than the, the regular archers. So Zeke's going to push forward with the pike. The dogs were brought to fight the chariot archers. However, Zeke's kept his chariot archers quite close to the centre. That's quite a good strategy actually, keeping them close to the pike. Using them to help in the route at the start. Doing the same on the right hand side. Might be a, a tactic to maybe trick Dio into using his dogs versus the side chariots. Good push in the centre, taking out a unit of chosen archers. Taking out a unit of arch warband. This unit of maidens getting caught by the pike there. The side chariots are pushing on the chosen archers. The Maidens have not really served the purpose, they haven't really been able to get through to the Archers. There's two that are getting through right there. The Horse Archers, there's a unit here, might get caught by those side chariots. And there's another one on the right hand side as well, they're going to get caught by the chariots unless Dio can actually save them. He's got his Archers following the side chariots, trying to get the flame shots in. Using the Pontic Light Cavalry in the centre, routing up the, the peasants and if he hits that archer unit there, they're going to right off the field. And basically using the chariots just to steamroll Scythia. Good plays here by Demedus. Managed to get these maidens round and they've actually routed quite a lot of the Pontic archers. But he still has a lot of pike left. 
he's got quite a lot of chariots and he still has the the missile chariots as well virtually going to be a, a win for Zeke here I can't really see Dio actually having enough here to win I don't really see too many archers he's got a lot of maidens however Zeke does have the the two chariot archers which have a lot of arrows left so they might actually nullify some of the the maidens this unit of scythe chariots actually routing and the other unit of scythe chariots is actually hitting the chosen archers there's a unit of war dogs there they've gone for the charge versus the chariot archers so that's at least one unit of chariot archers taking out the game they'll be definitely right off the field from that Zeke doing work with the Pontelite -like Cavalry making sure that these units around the back that are separated get routed off the field and again it's just really some units of maidens left for Scythia so that's going to be a, a win for Scythia I'm going to put this on triple speed virtually game over I'd say just so, so many pike left he's got the side chariots he's got the two pontic light and he's got another unit of chariots over here as well I think these guys are the chariot archers actually so he's trying to save these chariot archers and he's getting a lot of damage against the the headhunting maidens right there and that's Dio just submitted defeat. So Dio won the first game in the con aspect versus Zeke. Zeke's just won the, the second game. In terms of the actual team score, it's actually 2 all now. Which means the next aspect is the CWB. And that'll be played between Heraclus and Tara. So well played to Zeke. Well played to Demetrius. Great game there. Well done to both players. Hope you've enjoyed this battle replay. Stay tuned for the, the final part of round one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This is Piper signing off.